guys and gals, welcome back. So today's a nice chill one. I just thought I would record myself while I was in the process of making a Josh Wink tribute. If you uh, watched last week, you'll know I managed to get pretty close to the sound of Josh Wink's high state of consciousness. That video was very much sound design focused. So this video, I'm just breaking down the musical side of the acid line and trying to come up with my own. It's not scripted and it's not going to be very edited either. Let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is come up with a new lick, riff, whatever you want to call them. And to do that, I need to break down the essence of what makes Josh Wink's original great. And I think there's a, there's a couple of aspects to it. So you'll see I've got this overlapping note here. That's because I could hear the 303 riff slide. If you put vital in, uh, sorry, vitals glide mode in legato. Legato means connected notes. So it will only glide when I overlap notes and that emulates how the 303 did it. So I think we need a glide in there somewhere at least. We need some staccato notes, which are, it's just a classical word for um, shorter notes. So a combination of short notes, long notes, legato. And in terms of feel for the, the rhythm, you could really boil down the rhythm of this uh, riff to this. Which means we've got mostly planted notes and one syncopated note. So we want a little bit of syncopation, mostly planted. That's my thought process kind of in the background as I will be making my own acid style riff. And to start with, I also want to change key just so I'm not exactly the same. I will be changing the sound slightly as well first, but I'm going to stay with the, the sound I, I got because obviously it was really close and it works. And we can't get in trouble because it's not a sample. This is a, a recreation. As much as Google thinks it's the same thing. <laughs> um, so we're going to go up a tone. I think we'll go into A. You know, I like doing things in A. Makes it really easy to demonstrate as well. I think we're going to do a legato dive down. So it's the opposite way. Something like... Uh, not two. Let's do some short notes. Yeah, so what I've got in my head is a do, 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 Which is this, isn't it? That. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm going to keep that. Uh, let's change the color and make a new one. Or we can make a variation on this one. We've only got an octave here. What we haven't got is any kind of implication of harmony because Josh Winks was G major because he's got the B in there as well as the G. So we could start on... I prefer minor, as you all know by now, probably. really good that's really good 
I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, I think we'll go planted now. The other one was syncopated, so let's change that. Syncopation. Something like this, I think. Not bad, not bad. I'm just going to make a few and then pick. As I usually, I usually go back to the first one. <laughs> but uh, if I need to do a few tracks uh, in an evening or I have a deadline that I can't reach, then it's always good to have some licks and riffs in, in reserve so I can uh, quickly throw a track together. So all is not lost, even if I use the first riff. Same ending ish. sure about this one this is revealing my guitar origins i think <laughs> this is the kind of riff you might write for a guitar it's sounding almost too musical for um for an acid line it's kind of cool i don't know why it makes me think of this, but it's the kind of acid line a computer game composer from the 90s might write. <laughs> so if I ever need to do 90s computer game acid instead of released acid, I could go back to that one. Let's do one more. Thank you. 
Let's give a turn around here. Let's make it go short again. Does this sound like elongated? That's not bad either. Not bad. Five different licks there. I think that one's a favourite. Well, that one's got a lot of groove to it with that silence in the uh, on the beat three. Quite like that. Yeah, I think that one's the weakest. Try a Frisian mode there, which is when you uh, use one note above the, uh, the the root note. So if we're in A, that would be A sharp. That would be uh, instead of the B. The B would be in that what's called a natural minor. B flat is Frisian. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so I think what we'll do next is see which ones line up best with some breaks. And I'm afraid that's going to have to be for another video. So, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And until next time, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening. I'm only joking, none of us see in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye.